Okay, so we talk about uh, the interdiffusion. We talk about the uh, Darkens equation. Now let's have some uh, examples to illustrate this, to illustrate some of the features. The first one is we get this uh, so-called interdiffusion coefficient by doing these types of uh, diffusion couples, putting copper and the brass together, or putting some other material together. And uh, the diffusion, the so-called substitutional diffusion, quite often read, is often naturally much slower than the interstitial because it really takes time for the vacancy to re-equilibrium, to find the vacancy nearby. And how fast? We give one example. We are looking at what material? Alpha, iron, at 1000 K. Okay, 1000 K, 700 uh, something degrees C for BCC, alpha iron, which has a body center cubic structure. So the diffusion coefficient of carbon, what type of diffusion? Interstitial diffusion is this number, 81 micron square per second. In comparison, within the same material, still alpha i, the so-called self-diffusion coefficient for what? Self means just the iron, right? All of the tracer, yeah. if I put a radioactive iron into it, it is 6 times 10 to the minus 5 micron square per second. We are talking about uh, seven orders magnitude difference. It's really, really very different. Very, very different. The carbon goes way faster than the substitutional diffusion of the same element. Okay, that gives you a perspective. Okay, it happens. It happens slowly. And uh, also diffusion would depend on read crystal structure. So again, some examples. We are looking at uh, interstitial diffusion of what? Carbon in different types of iron. One is of iron, so-called BCC, body center cubic. The, carb the iron atoms are arranged in BCC fashion. The other one is in so-called gamma iron. Gamma ion, the ion atoms are arranged in so-called phase centered cubic fashion. And what people find is this ratio, ratio of what? Diffusion coefficient for what? Both C for carbon, one in alpha ion, BCC, one in gamma ion, FCC, is 100. Which means for the same atom, it diffuse interstitially but when it's in alpha ion, it's a hundred times faster, even at the same temperature. I have to emphasize, it's at the same temperature. What temperature? 910. You may say, Dr. Cheng, the, how did this happen? It's probably a tricky experiment because typically under equilibrium, the ion is either in one lattice state or the, in the other. But probably before that happens, people can, before and after that phase transformation happen, people measure the diffusion coefficient. They got this 100 uh, times difference for the same atom diffusing in different crystal structure of iron. On the other hand, for self-diffusion, iron in iron, okay, in alpha iron versus in gamma iron, at the same temperature 850, again, if the iron is packed as body centered cubic, BCC, it's much faster. Okay, so we see the diffusion coefficient for interstitial is much higher than for substitutional. And even for the same atoms, it depends on the crystal structure for carbon or for iron, whether it's interstitial or it's substitution. Okay, so for the interstitial interdiffusion in a Binary alloy. Binary alloy means how many components? Two, one A, one B, right? And uh, if it's dilute, a dilute alloy of pre pretty much all A with very little of 
b in it, which means if we have this d tau tau, what, what is d tau tau? That's so-called uh, inter-diffusion coefficient or the so-called chemical diffusion coefficient. You get a one value for the same system, whether it's A or B, it's the same. Okay, it's DAXB plus DBXA. And when it's very dilute of B in A, which means XB goes towards what? Zero, and which means XA goes towards XB goes towards zero, XA goes towards 100% or one, right? And as a result, look at here, if XB goes towards zero and the DA and DB are both finite, what does ha what would happen to this term? The first term, DA XB goes towards zero, XA goes towards one, which means when XB goes towards zero, the so-called system interdiffusion coefficient would approach what? This guy, right? which is db, make sense? When the system is very, very dilute, the interdiffusion coefficient is pretty much controlled by the so-called uh, solute atom, by how fast the solute atom will, will diffuse, okay?